persuaded. Romans chapter 4 verses 20 to 21, Abraham never wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith grew stronger, and this he brought glory to God. He was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promises. Being fully persuaded makes all the difference in the world. Our faith is only as good as our belief in the object of our faith. If we don't have a relationship with God, how are we going to really trust Him? How are we going to be fully persuaded that He is able to do the things He promised? A second-hand faith passed down from your parents won't do. A nominal Sunday-only Christianity will not produce the evidence you need to put your trust in God. Abraham was fully persuaded that God had the power to do what he said because he knew who God was. You can have that kind of relationship with God. He invites you to know Him. He has provided the Holy Spirit to teach you and lead you into a deep relationship with the Father. Start today by committing yourself to a process of knowing God better. Begin to pray for specific requests and watch as God answers them. As He does, you will learn about His character, His desires, His will. It is this experiential knowledge that teaches you that God has the power to do what He has promises. This will cause you to pray for more mighty acts of God with more faith. Little by little as God reveals Himself, you too will become fully persuaded. Think of a time when God's love was real to you. Sense the joy, the peace that you felt in your heart. Remember a time when you experienced His power being manifested on your behalf. Now think of a time when God seemed distant. As you overlay the positive memory onto the negative, feel God's love and power overtake you and give you peace even in the midst of a difficult situation. Lord, help me step out in faith today. As I trust you and you reveal your power and your majesty to me. Help me to trust you more. Build a faith in me until I am fully persuaded that you have the power to do what you have promised. Amen.